Hello everyone, I'm Adrija. Welcome back. Today I'm back with another English grammar related video. In this video, we are going to be talking about the prepositions of place, at, on and in. In one of my previous videos, I already discussed the prepositions of time, at, on and in. And today, as promised, I'm back with the prepositions of place. And remember that there is a quiz at the end of this video to check your understanding. So make sure to write down the answers in the comment box below. In this video, we are only going to be talking about at, on and in. There are other prepositions of place, but today we are going to be talking about these three because these are the prepositions where mostly people get confused. So without any delay, let's begin with at. Where do we use at? For a specific point. Whenever we know the exact point, okay, whenever the sentence tells us the exact point, before that we always use at. We know where exactly someone is standing. So we know exactly the position. At that time, we are going to use at. I'm giving, an, I'm giving you an example. He is standing, that's the door. So the door, from this sentence, we can imagine where is he exactly standing, right? At the door. A very specific point. So he is standing at the door. Another example is, write your name at the top of the page. We are exactly mentioning where on the page are we going to write. At the top of the page. We are giving an exact position. So for that, we use at. At the corner. At the middle of the room. So you see, in case of specific points, in case of specific position, we are going to use at. Now, on for a surface okay the books are kept on the table on the table means what we are we have kept the books on the table means they are present on the surface of the table right they aren't inside they are on the surface of the table so the books are present on the table so she was lying that's the ground so ground in case of ground of course on Right, we don't usually mention it as inside the ground, it is on the ground. She was lying on the ground because the ground is a surface. There is a clock on the wall. This is a wall, suppose, and there is a clock here. So it is on a surface, right? The wall acts as a surface. The, uh, the clock is present on the wall on the floor okay this is the floor i'm standing on the floor on the fifth floor i can be more specific on the fifth floor on the rooftop so you see all these floor rooftop ground these are all surfaces so in case of surface we are always going to use on so understood now in in is used for an enclosed space exactly the opposite of on on is for a surface in is for something that is inside of something for an enclosed space that is covered all right so in my pocket i have got the keys dash my pocket what is a pocket pocket is an enclosed space so before pocket we are going to use in i have got the keys in my pocket I have a chocolate in my bag. Bag, I have put the chocolate in my bag, right? It's not a surface, it is an enclosed space, a covered space. So the chocolate is inside of the bag, so in my bag. In a box, in basket. So all of these box, basket, pocket, bag, these are enclosed spaces. So before that, we are going to use N. Let's do a quick revision. At is for a specific point when we are exactly mentioning a particular point. On is for a surface, okay, on the 
surface on the ground and n is for an a covered space an enclosed space okay in my bag so here we learned about using n on an app for a position right but what about location when we are suppose talking about a city like a big location at that time where are we going to use at where on and where in so let us learn more about that now we can also use at on and in to describe the location of a person or an object so where do we use at just like we use in position at is used when we give the exact location of a person okay for example she lives dash shubhashnagar shubhashnagar is the name of a colony a neighborhood so it is kind of giving the exact location of where she lives right so before any neighborhood or any colony we use at at the bus stop at the station um she is standing at the bus stop we can tell this so what are we telling we are telling the exact location of where she is standing right she is standing at the bus stop at the station so she lives at shubhashnagar okay now on on is used when we are not so specific about the location it is mostly used before roads streets all right so it is not as specific as at so take a look at this example he lives dash mission road so mission road is what a name of a road and mission road is a long road so we aren't mentioning where he exactly lives lives we are just telling that he lives on mission road right so on now here is a thing like suppose instead of mission road it is written as 95 mission road before that we are going to use at why because 95 mission road we are exactly telling the name right 95 mission road this is more specific than mission road so before mission road we are going to use on and before 95 mission road we are going to use at okay now n we use n before cities countries states okay when we are talking about a large area okay alice lives dash bangalore we don't know where he lives in bangalore we just know that alex lives in bangalore okay bangalore is the name of a city so before any city we are going to use in i live in india i stayed in hyderabad so this was where we use at on and in um when we have to tell about a location so at is for the a very specific location of someone on is for not so specific as at generally we use on before the names of roads and streets and in is before cities states countries okay big areas all right so this was the location now now let's take a look at this interesting cases first i am dash the car i am dash the bus okay so what do we use before car train bus plane etc before car we use in but before bus we use on why because i am telling you the reason there is nothing to be confused here so basically we use on when we define a large space where you can walk okay so on a bus on a train on a plane these are large spaces where you can even walk so here we use on but when it is when we cannot move a lot when it is a really small space then we use in in the car in a taxi in the helicopter okay why do we use in before helicopter because helicopter is a very enclosed space it is a small space and we cannot walk in the helicopter so in the car in the taxi in the helicopter but on the bus on the train 
on the plane okay now i am in the car but i am on the bus clear so this is a very interesting case now the next one are you dash home now remember before home school university office we use at are you at home are you at school are you at college are you at office okay remember this now what do we use before tv she is watching a web series dash tv we use on before tv on tv on the internet on radio okay remember before tv we always use on so she is watching a web series on tv now the next one is i am growing potatoes dash my garden so whenever we talk about garden we use in okay i am growing potatoes in my garden in the sky in the sea remember okay whenever we are talking about sky or sea we always use n okay there are so many birds in the sky there are so many fishes in the sea so in my garden so just remember these things these are quite um, important cases i would say like at home at school on tv in my garden in the sky in the sea okay so do try to remember these things now i am going to tell you another interesting case sometimes we can use in on and at before the same object um depending on the situation i am giving you an example fridge okay so the vegetables are kept where in the fridge because i have kept the vegetables inside the fridge so in the vegetables are kept in the fridge but suppose a sticker is pasted on the fridge remember the vegetables are kept in the fridge but a sticker we have stickers pasted on the fridge okay kept in the fridge but the sticker is pasted on the fridge why because of the surface we uh, the sticker is pasted on the surface of the fridge but the vegetables are kept in the fridge so it is turning into an enclosed space door he is standing at the door as we took the first example okay to describe his exact position but i can also say that a sticker is pasted on the door here the door is acting as a surface okay so remember we can use these in on and at depending upon the situation before the same object so this was an interesting case now over here we have completed uh, the prepositions of place at on and in now is the time for the quiz video um, to check, check your, your understanding so this is the quiz now you are going to pause the video and solve this quiz and write your score in the comment box below okay so pause the video i hope you have completed it now let's discuss i am dash a train right now what did i say a train is a big area we can walk so before that we use on i have a meeting dash kochi kochi is the name of a city a big city so before cities states and countries what do we use in so in kochi on kochi no at kochi no it will be in kochi the books are das the table on the surface right so the books are kept on the table okay because here we are talking about the surface tom is dash home right now tom is dash home right now what did we say what do we use before home school at so tom is at home okay right now 
There were no clouds dashed the sky. Before sky or sea, we use in always. Okay, remember this. There were no clouds in the sky. He stood dashed the center of the stage. Here we are talking about a very specific position. Where did he stand? At the center of the stage. The exact position. So before that, what do we use? At. He stood at the center of the stage. So these are the answers. With this, we have completed with the prepositions of place at, on and in. I hope you understood this. And if you have any doubts, then make sure to write it down in the comment box below. I'd be happy to help. If you have any other suggestions, then also don't forget to write it down in the comment box below. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe for more such videos. I promise that I'd be back with an English grammar related video soon. Bye.